Greetings and welcome, fellow horsemen, to another episode of Let's Play Darksiders War Masters Edition. Right, where did I leave off? Probably not here. Right, so I was busy cleaning up things and no mouse cursor. Go over there if you're gonna be annoying. Now, let's see, I was busy trying to get back up to where Tiamat is. I think I've unlocked most of the things. The fact that I've got a sword on my back suggests that I am supposed to be opening something. Which I think is... no, it's not this way, is it? All right, let's check the map again. All right, I need to go... I need to go here from where I am now, which means... Yeah, which means I need to go to the other side. All right, a little backtracking, that's fine. That's fine. Nothing wrong with a little backtracking. After all, not, not all that far. Alright, here we are again. Don't think there's anything special to do here, right? Yeah, just find Tiamat and take her heart. Alright, well, in that case, let's put in the final sword and go up. Yes, I think I've got everything. No chests left unchecked. You know, it's an impressive elevator, but I gotta wonder, was this built before or after the invasion by the angels and, angels and demons? In any case... Let's collect our loot. Abyssal armor piece, yay. All right, so the abyssal armor piece is part of a set of 10, I think, armor pieces hidden around the world. That will make me much tougher once I collect the entire set, although I believe even a small piece will give me some advantage. Don't quote me on that, though. I might be misremembering. And luckily, the armor pieces are always in places you can get back to later. In fact, the entire cathedral can be explored again later. Wrath core, cool. I'd much rather have had a health core, but you know, Wrath core is cool too. Uh, that may not be a good idea. Let's go this way instead. Also, to make sure that we don't forget on the other side. The thing we couldn't access before. See if we can access it now. Now that I've got the... Uh, the Frisbee of Doom. 
All right, so yeah, but I thought there is one of those things on it. But I do need to get up there first, so let's go take the scenic route. I may have missed the map, that's fine though. I think I found everything. Let's see. Alright. Yeah, looks like I found everything on the map. I do endeavor to find the map wherever I go, though, so... Because I will tend to forget stuff. And this game is very good in hiding things. However, the Horde Seeker is usually the real thing you want. Because it will show you whenever you have missed something. Now, I think I've been pretty good at finding stuff. Uh, nothing missed here. So the Horde Seeker is not necessary per se, but you know, in case you do forget or do miss, it, this is where it is. However, we are here for a very specific purpose. And that is to deal with the Tiamat. So let's ignore her for a bit longer and go outside to meet with Vulcan for a bit since we did pick up some souls and uh, we have some artifacts. And since he's not going anywhere, might as well. Also, we can do that. Come on little beasties. Fill me with your life. Anyone else? Didn't think so. Alright, Vulgrim. Old Vulgrim's got something new for you. Right, let's just trade the artifacts. Old got something new for you. Hmm. Let's see. Only like that. Yeah, I could get the harvester. I'll, I'll keep that on the consideration. We may upgrade the scythe. Just so I have it done. I mean, there's plenty more souls still to be found, so... I'm not all that worried. But I am a little bit low on life, so let's take the recharge. I mean, ideally, I want to get some extra essence, some more consumables, because right now I've got an empty vessel that I can't really do anything with. Also, um, 
me. How do I do this? Let's assign Bloodthirst to the Chaos Eater and damage to the Scythe. Which gives our sword a new, uh, little new look. And make our Scythe do a little bit more damage, which I think which will help me use it more effectively. Because I kind of do want to get all the weapons up to maximum level, although that's quite difficult and I've never actually managed to get all the weapons up to uh, to full level because, well, simply put, there's just not enough enemies in the game to level on. Even with all the right artifacts, even the legendary ones. I mean, Chaos Eater, that's usually a problem because, well, you can, you can do lots of stuff with that. And the scythe is also not much of a problem, although slightly more difficult, just simply because it's much easier just to hit the Chaos Eater button rather than the scythe button. And the third weapon, yeah, well that's almost impossible in my opinion, because simply put, the moveset of that third weapon is not all that useful in most instances. Alright, no going back. Alright, so now to remember. If I want to heal, I need to hit with the Chaos Eater. If I want to do damage, I need to hit with the Scythe. And we'll see what else later. First, a dance with Tiamat. you lady that was my ride all right uh, that's fine just blow down I missed. Go into hover mode. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, the fight against Tiamat is not all that difficult, but... I still find it difficult to dodge the uh, projectiles he uses. Alright, let's skip the cutscene because we've seen that. Mm, this 
will not end well for you, horsemen. That's fine. She's gonna do the sweep. This will not end well for you, horseman. All right. Are you gonna do the sweep strike? Yep. Let's... Nowhere near close enough for you to hit me. Here, hold that. Ouch. Alright, that was my mistake. Get over to a place where I can ignite that bomb on your chest. Now will you hover still for a moment? Come on, work with me. You should have considered my offer. <laughs> Such a pity. That's just mean. Alright, I did get it on. Oof, but that's gonna have to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.